relates to um, uh, the death of the officer. Look, our hearts go out uh, to this officer who tragically lost his life in the line of duty. We're also praying for his family during this difficult time, uh, who now has an empty seat at their dinner table. President Biden is deeply grateful for the sacrifices police officers make to keep our community safe. Uh, this shooting is yet another painful reminder of the toll of gun violence, that what, it's, what it's doing to inflict uh, on families and our communities and our nation. Uh, and that's why the president signed more than two dozen executive actions. That's why we're able to pass a bipartisan agreement to uh, deal with the gun violence that we're seeing in this country. Obviously, more work needs to be done. We need Congress to continue to act uh, on making sure that our communities are safe. Uh, and um, again, our hearts go out uh, to the to this officer and um, and his family. It's a difficult time for them. Irene Jean-Pierre's statement pivots towards redirecting accountability away from individual culpability for criminal acts towards the wider discourse surrounding gun regulation. Her focal point on addressing gun violence and advocating for legislative measures resonates with the progressive stance, which places emphasis on prioritizing gun control initiatives over singular accountability. However, the omission of Officer Diller's name from her dialogue overlooks an opportunity to recognize his sacrifice and pie tribute to his service. Karina Jean Pierre's response may be interpreted as emblematic of a progressive inclination to politicize tragedies and attribute to blame to personal decisions and unlawful conduct. Her comments reflect the broader ideological contrast between progressive ideals and socialist viewpoints concerning governance, personal responsibility, and the interpretation of societal challenges.